Good afternoon. This is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome all of you to our web seminar today. The topic, uh, as you see, is seismic detailing of special reinforced concrete shear walls and coupling beams. Uh, the seminar material is based on ACI 318.11 as well as ACI 318.14. Okay, to uh, go back to the basics, th this is something I said maybe in different words yesterday. Seismic design in its very essence is an exercise in trade-off between strength and inelastic deformability. Inelastic deformability is the ability of a structure to continue to carry full factor gravity loads as it deforms beyond the stage of elastic response. Elastic response, I made the point yesterday, means recoverable response. There is no residual displacements associated with the, the earthquake passes. We get our structure back intact. Uh, it, it does not mean force proportional to displace, displacement necessarily. Inelastic means all the displacements will not be recoverable and that would mean that there is damage associated with inelastic displacements. Inelastic deformability comes from proper, so, so the first thing we say that it is a, an exercise in trade-off between strength and inelastic deformability. We can choose to design for a high level of strength, in which case we will need little inelastic deformability or we may choose to design for a very low level of strength, in which case we will need a high level of defor inelastic deformability. Inelastic deformability, the last item on the page says, comes from proper detailing of the structural members and the joints. So that means if we decide to design for a very low force level, then our detailing has to be extra fancy so that we have a high level of inelastic deformability. We have to make sure that gravity will be sustained over a long range of inelastic displacements. If, however, we are able and willing to design for a high level of strength, we need little inelastic deformability, so now our detailing can be relatively crude, that, that, that is the idea. Chapter 16 of the IBC sets the design force level on strength. So uh, the picture is of 2012 IBC, that is irrelevant, nothing has changed, 2015, 2018. Uh, chapter 16 has or, or gives us the design force level. Chapter 16 gives us the design force level, not directly, but by referring to ACE 7. 2015 IBC references ACE 7 10, as you know. 2018 IBC will be referencing ACE 7 16, which has been out for a while. The so the strength comes from chapter 16. The detailing that goes hand in hand with that strength, the rules for that detailing are given in the materials chapters. 19 for concrete, 20 for aluminum, 21 for masonry, 22 for wood and, and I'm sorry, 22 for steel and 23 for wood. Uh, all those materials chapters give us detailing rules by referencing material standards. Chapter 19 on concrete references ACI 318. That's where the detailing rules really are. Three levels of detailing are defined in our uh, standards and codes, uh, ordinary, intermediate, and special. So if we are talking concrete, 
ordinary detailing is detailing by the main body of ACI 318. Intermediate detailing is where in addition to the detailing by the main body, you will invoke a couple of sections of chapter, what used to be chapter 21 in ACI 318.11, now is chapter 18 in ACI 318.14. And special detailing would mean that in addition to the main body, you will invoke the remainder of chapter 21, which the all of chapter 21 minus what is applicable for uh, the uh, intermediate detailing. 